So as you become a more experienced VoiceThread user, you start to understand that when you leave a multi multiple comments on a VoiceThread using the same identity, that avatar or the, the profile picture for that identity only shows up one time on the screen. Um, so that may or may not cause little hiccups in your process. For me, when I'm teaching a class, it's really important that my students know when I've been on a slide in VoiceThread and when I've left feedback for them. For me, as the facilitator of a conversation, as a, of a dialogue, of a learning activity, an assessment, whatever it is that we're doing in VoiceThread, it's critical that if I'm in there leaving feedback, the students know that I have left that feedback. Absolutely critical. So this is the process that I've established. Um, I have a number of identities that I have set up and I toggle between these identities, um, the feedback identities as I leave my feedback comments. So on each slide I will basically select one. So I've just recorded um, a comment here using this golden feedback identity and when you leave a comment on a slide on VoiceThread that comment gets recorded and it appears at the very end. So this is the the final comment placement. It's always on the right side at the bottom. Um, and the corresponding segment for that comment is at the far right side of that gray bar that runs along the bottom of the voice thread. So in other words, if I wanted to play that, I could click here. Hi, Kirsten, I think. Or I could click on the bar. Comment as they're standing in front but the problem is I have left that feedback for this person over here. So what I can do is I can move that comment. Uh, as the creator of a voice thread, you have the ability to move comments. And so moving a comment is actually quite simple. All you do is you find that gray segment bar at the bottom that corresponds with the comment that you want to move. So there it is. You'll see that there's a little finger or hand icon over it right now. I'm going to push shift on my keyboard and you'll see that it has changed to a double headed arrow. Now that means that I've activated the move function. I'm now going to drag that comment to play right after Kirsten's comment and I'm going to let go. And so now you'll see that it is set to play right after her comment. I can mouse over this gray bar and you'll see it identifies as Kirsten's and this one identifies as mine and they'll play one after another in sequence. And so she will be able to pop in on this slide and see that, oh, Michelle has left feedback for me. And so that is how um, I use identities and the move function in VoiceThread to help facilitate a conversation on a VoiceThread slide.